think it's healthy at a certain point for there to be change at the top. And I put that on me to, to sort of sort that out. And in my mind, both a desire for myself to sort out whatever I do next, and for the office to have change, I thought this was the right time. On June 30th, Illinois lost one of its most fearless crime fighters, U.S. Attorney Patrick Fitzgerald. We in Illinois are grateful for his tireless pursuit of mob bosses, terrorists, and corrupt politicians. With Patrick Fitzgerald's retirement, Illinois Senators Mark Kirk and Richard Durbin have the responsibility of recommending a replacement to President Obama. The President will then submit his nomination and the United States Senate will begin the confirmation process. First Assistant U.S. Attorney Gary Shapiro, who was appointed by the Department of Justice, will serve as acting U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Illinois until the Senate confirms a replacement. Senators Kirk and Durbin have announced a nonpartisan screening committee to conduct a nationwide search to replace the top prosecutor for the Northern District of Illinois. Each senator selected three of the top legal minds in Illinois to identify candidates of experience, integrity, and tenacity for the next U.S. Attorney. The committee is composed of the following individuals. The Honorable David H. Corr is a co-chair of the Selection Committee. For 16 years, he served as a United States District Court Judge for the Northern District of Illinois and was a United States Bankruptcy Judge for eight years. The Illinois State Bar Association praised Judge Corr for his legal ability, integrity, and independence. Mark Phillip is also a co-chair. Currently a partner at Kirkland & Ellis, he previously served as Deputy U.S. Attorney General, Assistant U.S. Attorney, and a federal judge. Mr. Phillip is highly regarded in the legal community and has been named one of the top lawyers in the country for commercial litigation and criminal defense. Other panelists include Terrence F. McCarthy served for 42 years as the Executive Director of the Federal Defender Program in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Illinois. He is a former chair of the American Bar Association's Criminal Justice Section, has served on the ABA's Board of Governors, and is frequently counted among the best defenders in the nation. Z. Scott is currently a partner at Kay Scholler, where she co-chairs the White Collar Litigation and Internal Investigations practice. Ms. Scott served as Executive Inspector General in the Illinois Governor's Office, overseeing more than 200 internal investigations of state vendors and employees. Ms. Scott is also a formal criminal prosecutor with the U.S. Attorney's Office, where she was the Chief of the General Crimes Section. Christina Egan is currently a partner at McGuire Woods in the Government Regulatory and Criminal Investigations Department and recently served as a Deputy Chief of the Narcotics and Gang Section for the U.S. Attorney's Office. Ms. Egan is well known and respected for her prosecution of cases involving corrupt Chicago police officers and other officials, drugs and gangs, and child exploitation. Lawrence Oliver currently heads legal investigations for the Boeing Company and previously served as an assistant U.S. attorney where he prosecuted fraud and drug crimes. He has also held positions on the Illinois Ethics Commission and the Illinois Reform Commission where he fought to advance campaign finance reform and against public corruption. To begin the application process, information can be found on Senator Kirk and Senator Durbin's congressional websites. Once the president submits a nomination to the U.S. Senate, the nominee will be reviewed by the Senate Judiciary Committee and will receive a vote in the committee. If the Judiciary Committee approves the nominee, the full Senate will vote. On average, it takes between two to four months to confirm a U.S. attorney once that nomination is sent to the Senate. I'm proud that uh, Senator Durbin and I have teamed up to put together a, a distinguished panel of bipartisan reviewers to make sure that we have the best possible new U.S. attorney in the Northern District of Illinois my goal is to have someone who will be just as good as Patrick Fitzgerald was. For more information, visit kirk.senate.gov.